Power some Agma! Lol. So some Agma action! Yes, I just made that word up, and I'm going to use it thoroughly! Agma action! Chapter 7 Left Candidate's Gauntlet. We are back with more Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, and now our journey takes us to the left hand of the valley! Oh dear. Arnus was free, but Moth and his army, now known as the Arcanian League, still had much work ahead of them. They followed the middle road south, bound for Arcania Palace, a perilous route, for it took the right to left hand of the valley, and the jaws of trouble. The countless fortresses lining the valley made it a veritable gauntlet, and compounding the danger was the presence of the White Wings. A knight be ordered by Princess Minerva of Macedon, which would be a fierce battle. Fierce? I probably wouldn't call it that much, but it would be harder than what we've seen so far. Well, I don't really have a fifth unit deal, so I guess Wendell can still come. Oh well. No need for units picking, because I already have most of my dudes already decked out. Mar doesn't need anything. I don't think he does. Frey. Frey is good. Draw can pass that killing edge over to someone that can actually use it. Like Ogma! So we have some more Ogma action! Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, before I forget, I am giving you an Iron Axe! Much better. So we're gonna have something to use. Drop all of that in there. Oh, we're gonna need to sell that. Ricker, dump your crap. We have money. That is money. That is lots of money. Lots of money! Does Lena need a new staff? Nah, she's good. She can take that barrier staff of Merrick. That's going right in the combo, bro. Alright. This map is... Uh, not too bad, I guess. It's just more like... You got a lot of distance to travel, so it... Gets on your nerves really quick. Really quick. I don't think I need to do much else. I will save my game. Let's go! Oh boy. General Harmine, I cannot abide by these tactics of yours. Let me attack the rebels head on and keep my pride as a knight of Macedon. Ah, you mean the same pride that cost us all those soldiers back in Orlis? I think not, Princess. If we're trying if we're to regroup, we need to buy time. My tactics are necessary. The Emperor himself named me commander of this post. Either obey or accept the consequences. Your little sister Maria is still our, is still our ward, is she not? What a shame would be when you say we could no longer care for her. What an asshole! Enough! I will obey. We all to unite are smarter than you give them credit for. 
it will prevail here, and you will regret having acted so rashly, General. Jesus Christ, I am doing terribly if I'm doing this bad. Ugh, 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 ugh. Alright, whatever. So this map... Yeah, more annoying than anything. Okay, let's first introduce our boss. He is Harmine, another general. He's boasting a silver lance, and he drops a silver axe. Well, I'd have a silver axe. Too bad we won't make good use of it at the moment. It'll be a while, it'll be a while before any of our axes can get up to par. Accompanying him is Minerva. She's the Princess of Macedon and the leader of the White Wings, and she's a badass. Well, her stats may not reflect, but back th back in the day when the Caps were only 20, she is a badass. She's a Draco Knight, which is the class up from Pegasus Knight. Draco Knights use spears and axes, though they don't main axes like they do in Radiant Dawn, though Minerva thinks differently. She has the Hout Claire, a really damn good axe. The yeah, axe added, added for this game, when it wasn't in the original or the remake, considering that axes weren't really all that prominent back then. This thing has equal equal power to that of the Regalia, the sacred weapons of Arcania, which were in the original. Not only is this thing really powerful, it can also be used to restore some HP. A damn good axe for a damn awesome woman. Aside from her assorted band of chuckle fucks, she has with her the Powerpuff Girl. I mean, the white, rather white wings. Paula, Catria, and Est. They are the Pegasus sisters, and we will be seeing more of them later in due time. But for now, all those guys are fountains of experience, waiting to be waiting to have the life sucked out of them. Oh yes, I will feast upon your experience. Oh, this guy. This guy has a longbow, which is a new one of the weapon that's new in this version of the game. Much like other longbows in the handheld Fire Emblem games and Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, it has extended range. And it's pretty decent in terms of might, too. It's pro. Uh, the only archers and uh, snipers can use it, so hunters and horsemen can't use it, or warriors or whatever. Just to give archers that little bit of a kick, I suppose. Of course, he's just enough defense to wall me. Of course, isn't isn't just the thing. And we want to be careful here because though uh, Minerva's Draco buddies. That one, the one anyway, will be coming up here and ruining my fun. I don't like that. Say, did you happen to get a look at the axe wrapped in Minerva's princely fingers? No, I suppose that should not be standing here. That axe is Hout Claire, the strongest axe of them all. Nobody knows who made it or where, but it's said to rail even the three Regalia, Arcadia's mightiest weapons. Why, if she got her hands on a shield, then, being the master of the treasure, see, she'd be nigh unstoppable. I have any shield is pretty badass, yeah. I will get I will grant. Though her stats not as such. But that axe is something else. It should be noted that Draconites are generally a little more annoying in this game and in the original incarnations than they pretty much were in any other Fire Emblem game, just because they actually do possess one thing that the Pegasus Knights also have. SPEED! That wrapped around their high movement and defense makes them a very fucking formidable class. Yeah, 
Hey, look at this guy. Even at level 2, those base stats are actually not too bad. 8 speed, 8 speed, yeah, see? So I've actually reasonably fast, all things considered. Surprising world, isn't it? Do something. Boing ha! Mm. I like that critical. I just do for some reason. Let's just jump and hit. It reminds me of Yoshi's ground pound from Smash Brothers for some reason. Don't ask. Hey, Marth, get a kill. Thank you, Marth. Oh, excuse me. Let's have a level up. Let's have something good. Let's have HP. Luck. That's... Meh. I know what isn't meh. Augmaction! Oh, yeah! It should be noted that Minerva or the, and, or the Pegasus Sisters, they will not attack you. However, her remotely band of chuckle fucks will. They will. They're a bunch of douchebags. Heads up! This can get right carry very fast. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be such, otherwise we will have words game. And they will not be pleasant to hear. Probably shouldn't have even drawn to anything, cause you know, free speed and all. Left oh, right. Yeah, don't do anything too heroic, Barst. Yeah, the Megasonite thing ain't gonna do much to Marth. Marth actually has something called defense. Nope. on the other hand. Oh boy. A very nice start to this game actually bothers to play with that. We'll be seeing Draco's manipulate axes, so they won't be just carrying spears all the fucking time. Not bad. want with Minerva and her band anyway. They'll be back later. Defeating them here does absolutely nothing. Down. I cannot keep the fight with those wounds. I must withdraw. I serve Princess Minerva, not Crust. This battle is over. All the Pegasus sisters leave if Minerva goes down. Though if you manage to take them out before Minerva goes down, more experience for you. Now we've got a set of, of non-frets over. Now let's get rid of the frets. Actually, I will do this instead. Whoop! Yeah, you can't lay a hand on that, Draco. Much like I would like to have Julian get some experience. No dice. What a drag! Got you! I 
do this though. Hi. Right. HP, skills, speed, luck, defense. I will take. Gladly take. Gimme. In this, we will meet someone important. You there. Have you come across a young girl? One by the name of Tiki. She must be found, boy. Tiki is the last of the Naga, the Divine Dragon Clan. Without her powers, we cannot challenge the Manakeets who serve babies. Me? I have the power. I am a fire dragon, yes. But in him alone, in him alone. I was my firestone Parathi. Without it, I cannot do battle. We'll be traveling, but yes, I wish to with you. Perhaps together we can find Tiki. Alright, nothing wrong with having an old man running around, I guess? Wait. This is Bantu! He's a manki. He's a monakeet. Watch... We know as the... The dragon transforming class in, mo in most Fire Emblem games. Otherwise known as the Mamku. He transforms using the, fi the, the basic fire stone to a fire dragon. And that's all he can do. He's a terrible unit. All he's really good for is the early maps is being extra wall thanks to the fire dragon's higher defense. But that's it. He's not much else. Not as well. I play very, which is why not. Get some experience out of it. Luck. Thanks a lot, Lena. Class act. There should be enemies coming up shortly. It's kind of bad, too. I kind of like Ben, too. I mean, he's not bad. I mean, he's not bad character wise. I mean, he's just looking for this cheeky chick. He's just. He's terrible in battle. Makes me, bother why, it makes me wonder why they even bother. Oh well. Probably should go into more detail about the Manakeet in general. As I've said before, they are the dragon they are the dragon shifting class. They use their dragon stones to trade the dragons. Manakeets have been around in Fire Emblem games since the beginning. Though only a handful of them have had them actually absent. For in all, they've actually been totally absent in the entirety of the children games. FE4 and 5. They have an apps in FE7. Blaze of Sword. And there weren't mana keats per se in Path of Radiance, in Radiant Dawn, because there were Lagoos. Well, that's what you got. Here, let me show you. the Firestone. Sadly, we cannot see the bonuses the Dragonstones give to the Manakeets. That is fortunately fixed to the next game. But I assure you, the, sp the bonuses the Firestone gives is act are actually pretty good. They mainly focus, mainly focus on a bit of strength and defense. That is not good. When you come to me, bro. That is quite good. Humor me, Sita. Whoop! As for the Dragonstones in this game, I like them a lot, how they function. They use one use every time the dragon transforms. Period. Doesn't matter if you double attack or whatever. One only one use is deducted every time they tra every time the dragon transforms to act. 
This does come with a bit of a downside, though, in that if they cannot counter, one use is still deducted anyway. Because they had to transform to defend themselves, you see. So they have a bit of a plus and a bit of a negative. Uh, negative? Be useful, Wolf. Sup? Doka. Ha! Fail. What does Draw get? Speed! I'll take it! He can actually double something now! Double something with zero AS, but he can double something. Nord. Nord. On the subject of manikeets, I actually do like how they handled manikeets in um uh, the remake of this game, Mystery of the Emblem. That's personally how I like how they handle with uh, most transformation games. See, basically, dragon stones had mu had less uses. But they were used on the go items, like you would normally use a vulnerary or something. And basically the Maniki would transform for several turns. How long depended on their luck stat, I think. And uh, at an interim. But the basic minimum was like five turns or something. As tra while they're transformed, they get they get this they get pretty much all the stats of the uh, base stats of the dragon they transformed into. And they move around like a dragon, get all the dragon's attacks and stuff. It was pretty cool! And it made the, and it made using the mana keys as, as walls and junk fairly useful! The one downside is that, that mana keys cannot double in that game. They couldn't double at all, since their, breaths, their breath attacks weighed 20. So, no matter what, they could never double attack. The plus side, though, is that they negated defense, which which can't do, which the Manikeet cannot do in this game, and I don't know if they could do that in the original. If someone is, done, if someone is familiar with that, please tell me. I'd like to know. But yeah, while they could not double attack, they negated defense, which was oh so handy, and uh, n not to mention very fucking annoying when you were the enemy. When we were fighting, uh, Monikeets. Harukin! Oh, actually, damage him. <clears throat> oh, uh. oh, reinforcements. I suppose this wouldn't hurt. Uh, no. Let's put that men to work. Super healing! Wolf. Oh, a critical. Someone's playing hardball. You have speed. You do not have speed. Draw can double you. Go ahead. Go. <clears throat> ha. Mm. That might pose a problem. This might not. Fail. Oh, but for 
for Sudger! H plus 2, skill, speed, luck, defense! Aw oh, yeah! I don't take too kind of the shenanigans. Piss off! Oh no. I look for Merrick! HP, speed, and luck. Very good. Uh, don't wake up on me now. Chat. Fine. I'll have Norn wear her down. Unless she magically gets a critical. Yeah, I didn't think so. Frey! Be manly! Manry! Just like his goatee. Marth! Faster! You guys are done. Oh! We're not just done yet! Still more douches to be had. Staff ring up for Lena, now it's B! Dude has got a javelin. Just kidding, the game tries anything funny. Marth, hurry on down here, bro. Can't be waiting forever. No. Get! Uh-uh! Where do you think you're going, Brohim? Hey! All right, let's go up. Ah, so close. Why it must be so close that it's so far away? Can you tell me, Merrick? Do you know the answer to my problems? Thunder? Okay. Maybe a little bonking will clear things up. Oh, no, no, never mind. Can they even... No, they can't! We've officially made another choke point. Sweet! Hmm. Nope. Nope! Norn, get down here. You might be able to make use of this. Maybe. As for you... Super healing. For free and HP, some strength, some skills, some speed, and some defense. Oh, and a good level up, all in all. He needs the speed, so. I am not complaining about that either. Meanwhile. Ooh. 
soften him up so Norton can get killed. And kindly die! Thanks! And then there was one! Making sure. And then there was one! How will more fail? Magic speed luck. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad time for Mars to come down here. Although a fight may be over before the, by the time he gets down here. Another one? Really? Really? Let's see how well. Ow. Anyone need of healing, so one that can get some more love and action. Good. I guess we can take a punch for the boss. Why not? You really think you stand a chance against me? Uh, yeah. I'm Merrick. I have a pinty hit of awesomeness. Tom rank up. Now let's see. Now he gets both nice now he starts getting bonuses. We'll draw got a level, but I guess he will! What does he get? HP defense. We got defense. And oh boy. Pressing start to skip. Pressing start to skip. Norn gets a kill. Norn gets awesome. And she totally betrayed my trust. Why you do this? <laughs> Why you do this, Norn? Thought we were bros. I thought we were bros. I thought we had understanding going on. Pinty hit. Hey, maybe if Bart's lucky, he can get down here in time. I'll just kill him off. Okay, let's have him wait there just so I can show off the fire dragon animation. Eight speed, five speed. Damn. Just a bit shy of being able to double you. Sad face. Well, maybe Bars can make it here in time. Health for the enemy. <laughs> oh yeah, Fire Dragon is total badass. Owned. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, just for that, just for that, Bantu is MVP for this map. <laughs> Treacherous. <laughs> Unless Mario can somehow prove me wrong in this luck from luck. HP, skill, luck. Nope, Bantu is still the MVP of this map. Oh, I got a silver axe. No complaints there. 
Super healing! And... We are done. Prince Moth! I was wondering we might talk about the Monikeets. Monikeets? You mean the Drakenkin? I mean, I just recruited one. You said he was a Monikeet. I just saw him transform to destroy the boss in front of my eyes. Yes, sire. I was not sure how much knowledge you had of them. The Monikeets inhabited our continent long before the dawn of humanity. However, ordinary their draconic disposition stays suppressed. Their power is sealed within special stones. Thus, rather than terrorizing humankind, they chose to live simple, peaceful lives in the quieter reaches of the world. Ooh, backstory time. However, a century ago, something changed. Manius, the Shadow Dragon, services the Dola region, and created what would become a great empire there. He forces, he forces invaded the... There, his forces invaded the human realm, and in the big of an eye, he had subjugated all of the land. It was then, in that darkest hour, that a young man named Henri appeared and rose against the Shadow Dragon. In his hand was a shining blade of light, Valshian, which he plunged in Medius, and the tyrant was no more. Henri went on, went on to found Altia, and the rest I believe you know. Yes, Maladus, is that what this is all about? I do my own kingdom's history. And I know what I must do, now that Manius has revived and restored Dolor to its former might. You are Henri's last male descendant, the only one who healed Falcian. You must find the blade that was taken, and put it into Dolor and its, gui and its misguided monarchy ruler. I will finish what my father started. I will avenge him and bring light back into our world. Sound words, Marth. Sound words indeed. Okay, next up in the next chapter, we'll be meeting some two wayward mercenaries and an awesome damn knight. Aw, yeah. Stay tuned next time, guys. Later.